Welcome, nutrition navigators. Ever been awestruck by how a tiny, unseen crystal can wreak havoc, causing such excruciating pain in your joints? That's the real deal about gout. Now, you might be wondering, what's this minuscule enemy we're talking about? It's something called uric acid. Now, uric acid isn't all bad. It's a waste product that's usually filtered out by our kidneys. But here's the catch. When the levels get too high, these uric acid particles form tiny crystals. And where do these crystals decide to set up camp? Right in our joints. And when they do, they cause inflammation. Just imagine tiny crystals poking and prodding your soft joint tissues. No wonder it's so painful. Understanding this makes us realize that managing gout is all about controlling this unseen enemy, the uric acid. Now that we know what causes gout, let's delve deeper into what can exacerbate it. And no surprise here, it all begins with what we consume. You might want to reconsider that second pint of beer or that juicy steak if you're battling gout. Now we all enjoy a good brew or a succulent slice of meat, but if you're dealing with gout, moderation is key. You see, alcohol, particularly beer, is quite the double agent. It might seem like a harmless beverage, but it interferes with how your body removes uric acid. It's like that friend who overstays their welcome at your party. And when it comes to meat, especially red and organ meats, they're like a secret society of purine producers. These purines are converted into uric acid in your body, so that beef, steak, liver, kidneys and sweetbreads you cherish might just be contributing to your gout symptoms. In our nutrition navigation, it's about knowing the facts and making informed choices. So the next time you're faced with that pint or steak, remember, moderation is key. But wait, there's more. Ever thought that seafood could be a sneaky enemy? Seafood and sweets are a delightful treat, but a potential threat for those with gout. Now, who doesn't love a good seafood platter or a refreshing sugary beverage on a sunny day? But alas, for those dealing with gout, some choices can be more of a foe than a friend. Certain seafood like scallops, sardines, herring, anchovies, mussels, and even some types of fish like tuna and haddock are high purine options. Purines, you ask? Well, these are substances that your body converts into uric acid, and too much of this can lead to gout flare-ups. And let's not forget about our sweet snares. Fructose-sweetened drinks, like your favourite sodas and fruit juices, can also increase uric acid levels. It's a bit of a sticky wicket, isn't it? But don't despair, though. You can still enjoy a plethora of other foods. Let's explore these in the next scene. Navigating the nutritional landscape with gout isn't all about restrictions. It's also about discovering a world of flavorful and healthful alternatives. Lean poultry and fish, excluding the high purine types we've previously discussed, are excellent protein sources, as are legumes and low-fat dairy products. Whole fruits and vegetables are the unsung heroes of the gout-friendly diet. Naturally low in purines, they offer a host of beneficial nutrients that can aid in managing gout. But remember, folks, it's not just about what you eat. It's also about what you drink, and I'm not just talking about avoiding alcohol. Staying well hydrated is critical. The simple act of drinking plenty of water can aid your kidneys in flushing out uric acid. Lastly, maintaining a healthy weight is vital. Excess weight can increase your risk of gout and exacerbate flare-ups. So remember, while gout may pose a challenge, it doesn't mean the end of flavorful meals. The real deal about gout, it's a manageable condition with the right dietary choices. By being mindful of what we eat and drink, we can steer clear of those painful flare-ups. Remember, it's important to limit alcohol, especially beer, and to cut back on red meat and organ meats, as these are high in purines. And let's not forget about certain seafood and sugary drinks that can also increase uric acid levels. But it's not just about what to avoid, it's also about what to embrace. Healthy proteins like lean poultry, fish, legumes and low-fat dairy products along with whole fruits and vegetables, are your best allies. And of course, staying well hydrated is key. Maintaining a healthy weight is also crucial in managing gout. It's about balance, moderation, and making smart choices. Thanks for joining us today, Nutrition Navigators. Please hit the thumbs up button right now to let YouTube know this content is appreciated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is your Nutrition Navigator signing off.